feel that, that the school should not have to be moved. It, it can quite easily accommodate the people that live in the surrounding areas. The schools have always gone by their numbers and therefore if they keep to their numbers, if they can't accommodate those other children from out areas, then they should go elsewhere. I don't see why they should carry on building in areas like this um, where we're trying to preserve our own nature and our own environment. I think it's outrageous. It shouldn't happen. A lot of young people would be saying, but why would we be building on the new site where there's animals and blah blah when the government, well locally government, are giving um, char no, grants to wildlife charities locally? Exactly. Well that's a mockery unless they're doing that to stop the charities complaining. And today, there is actually nothing wrong with that school. In fact, that school has been built on to accommodate new science blocks, etc. What is going on with this place? Why are they going to spend all this money in uprooting that school, putting it in and, and ruining our, our, our land and our environment around here when there's nothing wrong with that over there? I'm sure that money could be put to much better use. I'm sorry, but I think it could. It's um, in, in remission from breast cancer. So moved there and now to have a school right next door to us, it's devastating, absolutely devastating. Well, our views will go, well, it's not we have panoramic don't. windows in the house to see, to let the wild, you know, to let the field in really. And we'll, we'll be looking at a building. And it's mostly elderly people that live around our area. The impact of them will be terrible if they've got cars and people that yeah. wandering all over their gardens. I mean, it'll be desperate for you. And a lot of elderly people use that as a recreation area. They walk they? around that area. And it's a very popular area for walkers. And a lot of people say, oh, I get my exercise over there. I love that. Mm -hmm. I go and walk around. The field's beautiful. Certain times of year, you've got all the wildflowers. Um, you know, people enjoy it. It's been there for years. The community is supposed to be stakeholders, that's what they're classed as. But actually, is it true? It's only a bit true. What, what, what does it mean to be a stakeholder if they're not able to make things not happen? But they're going to have a shortfall for of a million pounds a year. And they were talking about having bridging loans to be able to start the building yes. anyway. Most people that you speak to want the Haygrove school built on the same site yeah. and the playing fields at Haygrove Farm. Even the people who um, at Haygrove Farm site um, have said they wouldn't mind playing fields but they don't want a school there. Right, so. so if they want to be good neighbours, yeah. then that's what they should do. Yeah, there's plenty of room for them to rebuild on the site and to place yes. pen rows there yes. um, and to have the field space they need opposite. So there's a consensus of opinion that the site that the community actually want is Haygrove farm site yeah. for the, the playing field, field. Yeah. Yeah. with a rebuild on, on Haygrove where it is yes. and actually nobody wants to skim it and name no. Queenswood site at all. I think Councillor Dyer wants to look at his own conscience, I'm afraid not his purse. You still want to hang on to your lanes for your birds and well, there's foxes and everything here, rabbits. I mean, very often we walk past and there's rabbits and things like that. So I think you need to still look after your countryside. Well, there you go, and it, it's nicely up on the hill for children and things like that. It's in a nice position, not too far from town. Here, it's going to be farther from town, which means anyone around the area got to travel by car to get to it.